it's a mindset. You're releasing the horse for a mindset. So it's a physical feel. Yeah, there's a, there's a soft muscle tone, but there's also a mental state of mind. So you're releasing for the way he's thinking and feeling about the situation. When they're mouthing and biting at us, what mindset are they in? Do we want to encourage or discourage that? So I would like to encourage the horse to have a mindset of which he is feeling for us and mindful of us and thoughtful. And he's saying, well, what can I do for you to, right now? Before he gets going too fast, we'll walk out of the center, make it really clear to him, and halt. Oh, bonus, a little backup. So I'll relax my posture, let myself get a little bit slouchy, and convey to him to relax. That, that was good. That was a good thing that he did. And then while they're standing still is a good time to adjust your lead rope. Get the kinks out of it. Good. We'll see if we can take his mind out on a circle this way, which is great. Now, notice this time he's walking freely. And yeah, so now we'll leave the center. Didn't even make a complete circle. And I don't, it's not about the circle. It's about asking the horse to start up, bend, take the feet. So I, I'd like to get a horse to where I can bring their life up, direct their attention, take their feet. Oh, there's a little more energy. And then of course he sort of pulled on me there. So I'm ready for that. I'd like him to bend on the circle, just like a riding horse. I'd like him to bend so his body's up on the circle. This is smooth, pretty forward. Let's leave the center again. Good. Starting a horse up like this, he's a little reluctant to come forward right now. Rather than starting up straight ahead at his 12 o'clock, I'd like to arc and start with an arc. I'll show you what I mean. So rather than just walking straight ahead, to where he's lined up, he, he could stop and sit there. What I'll do is just step to the side a little bit and offset the hindquarters, offset the haunch. The whole crossing of the hind legs, it's not just to take a horse that's excited and slow him down. It's also to take a horse that's stuck and we can start him up that way. In other words, when we can talk to the hind legs, we are talking to that horse's main drive system. So I could take a horse that's standing still, offset the hindquarters and walk him forward. Good. We could take a horse that's pulling on us, dragging us, and we could offset the haunch and have him turn and face us. So do you see how important the hindquarters is? 